The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 138. You have the Nasdaq down 22. S&Ps are off 14. Gold contract up a buck 20 at 1327. You have silver down 6 cents. $16.50. Light Sweet Crew down 76 cents, $58.54 a barrel. Notes and bonds are both flat, 120.30 on the 10 year note, 144.14 on the 30 year bond. King Dollar, King Dollar's got some movement. We're down a half a penny, down 546, 89,550. That is moving with conviction. It has the price spread, has the volume on the way down. The euro is at 123.63 to one U.S. dollar. The yen is out here at 107 and 64 to one U.S. dollar. And uh, we get a trader's market here, man. We do. Up big yesterday, down today, yeah. let alone last week. We'll see where the day leads us, man. And we got that VIX. That VIX is still laying out here. Uh, and I, I believe it's what uh, last time yeah, I looked about 26, 24, 27, 26, yeah, yeah 2683. 2683. That's a that's a new beautiful. normal for the last seven days for the VIX. Yeah, we'll oh, see. listen, man, go. it's not backing off. No, nope. there's no doubt this volatility is going to stay in here, and that's uh, well, I, I think it's a trader's best friend sure. myself. Sure. <laughs> Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here. 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you want to understand the option market, defined risk, the futures market, great program. If you haven't opened an account yet at TD Ameritrade, think or swim, real easy to do. Come over to our website at TFNN, hit the banner, bring it up. You can trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team as they put on strategies. Uh, bottom line is that uh, they got a great program every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. Uh, you know what I love? I look at the VIX and I see 2662. For us guys our age, Tom, we call that 26 and 5 eighths. Remember when we used to call that 5 eighths? <laughs> you know, it's so. I can't quit it. It, it, folks, and what Kevin's talking about, check this out. I mean, we working with pennies right now is heaven. Yeah. Think about it. When you used to buy anything, okay? You'd be down either $125 or $62.50 or $250 in every buy because that was the spreads. Sure. That was normal, right? No. Right. I, I, I give my kids that. They're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, totally. Well, you know what's intriguing? What I'd like to talk about a little, you know, I was listening to a program yesterday, man. It was a great program because what happens at TD Ameritrade, folks, okay, you, you, you know, it's a, it's a huge company anyway, but they have so many things in, like, we're in tax season, you know what I mean? Right. And I can tell you flat out when, you know, Tommy knows my cousin's been doing my books forever, right? And he comes in and it's so easy because all I got to do is to go to the account, hit a few things sure. on the TD Ameritrade account, everything comes up. But you know what I didn't know, Kevin? This is interesting. When you guys were talking about yesterday that it's Gainskeeper. I remember when Gainskeeper started. Okay. But I didn't realize that that's what's behind, you know, the basically P and L's inside that. That was pretty cool. Do you know what I'm saying? Because right. some people still pay for Gainskeeper, and you don't have to. Gainskeeper is a very important tool when you think of you know getting all the numbers out of out of the Thinkorswim platform or TD Ameritrade. Gainskeeper is that really tool that makes it very easy to use. It is. It's crazy, man. I mean, it's 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 very simple, and it, right. and as we've seen the difference over the years. Do you know what I mean? Like uh, yeah, what, what the difference is. Um, so, we got the volatility out here. Right. We got we have both sides of the market. Uh, you know, bottom line is that we got a lot of trading opportunities, and uh, we're in, still in the most wonderful time of the year. I, I think it's a very interesting market, Tom, that we have going on here. When the dollar is lower, yeah. You you put your your finger right on it. It's the yen. It's yep. the stronger yen that's causing this weak dollar today. So if you want to know why the dollar's down, just look at the Japanese yen up a full percent. Yeah, now that's going to get interesting, too, because right. what we what hasn't happened yet, folks, is that we still don't have that movement in gold. So 
This is going to yeah. be a heads up, man, because that's that, the look, other very. Look, if you're if you're long gold right now, you have to be very frustrated. Yeah, and I'm long gold. <laughs> <laughs> Let the frustra <laughs> frustration out. <laughs> and you're not getting the move you're looking for. You know, you know. So yeah, there's there's no doubt. There's no doubt. And you know the hey, we'll see what we'll see, see if it's it a delayed up. response, right? Well, so what what where my I haven't done the percentages on yet, but where my head's at on this is that the. How the market came down, gold actually, to me, gold held pretty good. Do you know what I'm saying? As to what could have happened. Because gold, folks, you know, can get down 50 bucks like in a heartbeat, like, like without even breathing. Um, so we'll see where it shakes out. But this, this yen move today, man, this is a big move because yeah. what's happening, folks, is it's coming right into its lowest swing point. And, you know, bottom line is that when the yen gets strong like this, man, let me tell you something. Um, <laughs> markets can have a little conniption going. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, but... If the more you watch the dollar, and the more you watch, remember, it's a relationship trade, the more you realize that the dollar and the currencies, even though you may not trade them, they affect everything you trade. They do, man. Right? Currencies they do. affect bonds, bonds affect interest rates, interest rates affect stocks. Yeah, and you know, I, what's pretty cool here, Kevin, is that, you know, yesterday, let me get that wheat up again, yesterday we took off, man, that was a nice move. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what, what, what you're seeing here, there, there, there's been some dry weather in Argentina, but there, there's been, actually, it's winter wheat that, that, that they're working on right now, and that's here. Okay. You've, you've actually had some good weather for winter wheat. But, yeah, um, some big moves in all, these, in all the grains uh, the last few weeks with weather in Argentina, winter wheat trading here, a lot of movement, Tom. Now, with winter wheat, right? I know I was reading in the headlines yesterday, Chicago, it, rained, it would have snowed eight days in a row. Oh, my gosh. We've had a lot of snow, but we're getting a thaw. I think we're through it. It's actually going to be in the 40s, uh, it, I think, tomorrow and then into the, the later in the week. But, yeah, just a lot. We had a big snowstorm. Really start Friday and just snow all weekend. Wow, man. Okay. My so, goodness. Yeah. And <laughs> so when you're looking at winter wheat in the, in the north, West, that's what you right. want. You want a covering of it, right? Is that how right. that, that, yeah, right. Because that I'm protects not an it, right? I'm wheat, so I don't want to get too far okay. over my skis. I'm not an expert on wheat, but. Why not? Uh, I, I know. <laughs> I, will like you. You know, I know because I, I stayed where I, I stayed in my lane. I was trading soybean meal. That's, yeah, where, I, right. that's where I made my living. So. Have, to, have to love it. So, right. um, you know, swim lessons today. What are we going to be talking about today? First, first, uh, uh, section today, we're going to talk about the overall market. We'll go over an overview, and then we're going to talk about basic parts of the Thinkorswim platform. Today, we're going to go over real quick. We're going to go over the trade tab, okay? And how everyone uses it. Kind of reteach, go back to the basics here. But the first uh, opening of the show, we're going to deal with this market and everything having to do with how this market's moving. Big yeah. move yesterday, another big move today. No, no doubt. And you know what? You, what you have? I mean, you know, if only you know, there's, there's folks in, that have only been in this market probably seven years and they just haven't seen these types of moves i mean yesterday right. when tommy and i i mean what are the the s p even when we were on moved like 10 points like three times within an yeah, hour i think it was down and up a percent yeah you, right yeah. What's the baidu today Tom? oh yeah baidu big time folks right here 45 minutes kevin we look forward to the show you have a great one and a safe one Thanks, Thank Kevin. you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow right now down 79. NASDAQ is off 12. S&Ps are down 10. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will Will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling us out here. Right now, we have the uh, Dow down uh, 99, Nasdaq's off 14, S&Ps are off 12. And, you know, we were just talking about the yen. I want to show you this correlation between the yen and gold. It's pretty cool. Uh, when this yen moves, uh, you know, we haven't got the movement in gold. But you can see, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, uh, the white line is the yen, the yellow line is gold, uh, and what you're going to see here is that uh, in 2016, that's when, and I'll bring up the, just the pure yen chart, because where the yen is right now, it's just at the verge of basically breaking a very large consolidation. Um, you know, so I'll now just go back to the yen so you can see what, what, what's happening here. Uh, let's see, it's a currency. We bring this up. I'll put this back like a year. You can be able to, uh, two years you need it, actually. This, this is pretty cool. Okay, so what you're going to see here is that, you know, we've been in this range going all the way back with the April of 2017. This, is, this was the, you know, the yellow mark when gold was much higher in 2016. And we're on the verge of it, you know. And, you know, bottom line, you break this down, that's going to send that yen down to 99. And we're at, uh, so that's a... The, Strong yen, and I'll bring up the gold contract on the other side so you can see this cleaner. And we'll go back to that 2016, but you're going to see, take this, and it's just the opposite. That's when, you know, 1377. Sure. So it's going to be pretty cool watching this thing shake out, and, but there's no doubt we haven't got that movement yet. You know, gold had a good day yesterday. I mean, yeah. Um, you know, we'll see. It's... We'll see how it goes, man. We will. <laughs> About 50 minutes into the trading day, yeah. and uh, we saw a kind of acceleration to the upside yesterday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's always been some action towards the end of the day, whether you're talking about upside or downside. There, no, there is. The other, right? There is. There is yeah. no doubt. Uh, we go into this S&P out here. So uh, the S&P, this is pretty cool what we have happening. So we had a low of 26.34. You're 26.47. put this a little bit cleaner so you can see what we have here. So what we've done here is that, you know, you, you got a high volume spike at the, what was it, at the open, right? But you can see that you're coming into 
I'll, I'll do it three days because it... You're, you're coming into... That's where we went topside on Friday. Okay. That's some that's some decent support there. That's gonna you know it's gonna take a lot to break down yeah. at ten minutes of three on Friday because there's, there's buyers there. That's sure. the, that's the bottom line. Um, and the sellers up here, <laughs> uh, twenty six seventy one. You get some sellers. So uh, if we take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here today, uh, Under Armour. We'll go back to the Under Armour. They they yeah, get earnings, some numbers finally. Earnings season right? for sure. Right. What's going on with Twitter? Someone must be after Twitter. Twitter's up two dollars. Look at that. Yeah. You get uh, Under Arms up two, Twitter's up two. Um, let's see, Advanced Micro's up 10 cents. Snap is up uh, 40 cents. Now, this is interesting because it seems that everyone wants to get in their business, man. Uh, Google came out this morning. Okay, um, what were they saying? They, they just started a Snap copycat. Let's okay. see if they have it. Uh, yeah, I'll go to Google. They, they, as soon as I brought up my computer this morning, they're telling me that... Uh, they're, they're going to snap. Let's see. Google launches visually rich AMP stories. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I saw akin to Snapchat or something right, like that. Yeah. Right. Um, oh, they're gonna they're gonna try and show us an ad. Yeah. Shame on it. them. Forget it. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's uh, you know. We'll yeah. And you know what's interesting is fa Facebook immediately put that same technology into their Facebook, yeah. so they have stories, um, but people still like Snapchat. So in Google's yeah. long struggled to get any type of social media platform. I mean, what we I can't even remember the names of what they've tried to I launch. Can't you know, I know, as in Google, right? Is it Plus or whatever it is, um, trying that's, to create that environment? Yeah, I, that's right. Like a Snapchat or like anything. and that was a long time ago. They, the first they one struggled over and over. Right. So. Right. Doesn't necessarily mean that's going to eat into Snapchat because uh, no, someone's going to have to buy Snapchat. Google's not cool like that. I feel right. Just in I, my own head, I you agree. Know, young kids no. like Snapchat. Yeah. Um, I say young, you know, high school, college. Right. Um, right. Versus nobody's going to say, you know, hit me up on Google, hit me up well, on Snapchat. And and I've seen the difference that the definitely Snapchat. What they've got to do is take whether it's you. Younger kids than you, showing their parents. Now you, you see older people starting to use it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Not, yeah. not a huge amount, but yeah. you definitely do. No, for sure. You know what I mean? For Whether sure. in a restaurant, they say, oh, look at this. Because right. I'm still not used to it. Like, sure. uh, how do you do that? Well, right. you know. All the filters. All, all the filters. Cool Pe stuff. People like them. No, you know for, what I mean? For sure. You know, so for sure. There's, there's no doubt about that. So we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, if we go in, or oh, that just go positive? Look at that. The comp just went positive. Is that right? It yeah, is. It did. Okay, so <laughs> this is what you want, folks. There we go. So you get the NASDAQ right now. Uh, let's see. We had a low of 69.38. That's quite a move, man. Holy cow. Let's, let's see what... Yeah, it doesn't seem that much. One second. Hold it. Let me put the NDX up. So if we put the NDX up, the low was 64.78. Yeah, this is quite a move, man. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about 54 points off yeah. the low. So NQH8, yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. How are you talking? Technology stocks are flying. What's yep. new? Yep. Exactly. There you go. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for that uh, high of yesterday. 65, 67, and that's not that far away from it. No, about 30 points, right? Yep. And yeah, where was the low of time even? So looks like nine o'clock. It was down there. And then again, kind of right at 9.30. Yeah, what are you talking Gotta about? Gotta like it. Now 60 points, almost a full percent off that big, low. Big numbers. 1%. And one way, 1%. The other way, right. it's become a part right. of the course. And uh, so let's see. Go over to the gold contract for a second. It's still struggling, but you, you got it. That's, they slammed it down to 13.23. You're at 13.28. this back just a little okay so let's see that was the first buy so you got you got a buy in there is that 10 of yeah, 10 of 10 yes that was the first we need a little more con we need more contract volume here let's see oh you get five minutes on this buy. it's not bad but that first buy at uh, 10 of 10 wasn't bad and when we're in in the range so we'll see whether a 1333 is game um, not sure what well it was, it was buying in the, in the broad market, that's for sure. Yeah, um, Dow's only down 57 now. Yeah. Sure. Let's go over to the Dow Industrials, take a look at uh, strength versus the weakness. 
Okay, so <laughs> look at this. It never ends. Boeing every day, folks. Do it. Boeing is the number. Uh, that's putting 19 positive points. Cats put nine. 3M's putting seven. Taken away from it. Home Depot, 15 negative. Chevron, nine negative. American Express, nine. Uh, Big Mac, nine. United Technology, United, uh, Health. United Health, uh, eight. Do you see Amazon maybe getting into the medical supplies business? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So a few of the medical supply companies this morning. Oh, not that's faring that's well, intense. Let alone the venture that they just put together with Berkshire and all that stuff. There's so much money in mer in medical supplies. Yes. Oh my God. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 62. Nasdaq is up two. S and P's are down seven. We're coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. It's a special month at TFNN, and with market volatility back, we've decided to hold an open house in our Tiger's Den. For this month only, you can get a full 30 days of Tiger's Den membership without paying anything. The Tiger's Den is our interactive chat room where you can chat with other tigers and tigresses along with the TFNN hosts during each of their programs. For all of the details and to start your 30-day free trial to the Tiger's Den today, visit the front page of TFNN.com before this deal is gone. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, down 90. NASDAQ is off 4. S&Ps are down 10. Cardinal Health, CAH, I think it is, right? Just keep typing on There you go. Yep, CAH. Okay, so this... Yeah, we're talking about Amazon getting yeah. into the medical suppliers. So Cardinal Health, one of them, getting hit this morning. 
down 264, which is a decent move when you're talking about a stock that was trading only at, you know, $68 yesterday. Right, um, and this is uh, way off its highs, too. Look at this. Well, not way off its highs. Not, not yet. Not a good trend, though. No, you line big those time. Up. And then McKisson was there. Um, there you go. Oh, I think it was the... Yep. That top one. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, so down about 2% for them. It's not a good morning when you wake up to find out Amazon wants to get in your business. No. <laughs> well, and you know it's intriguing about this business. So let's just... I'm going to look at this for a second. So... Distributes pharmaceuticals, medical, surgical supplies, health and beauty products, yeah. So the way that this business works, too, uh, look at that, employs 78,000 people. Oh my God, this business is so I wonder so how many big. of those are salespeople. Yeah. Let me just pull it. I want to see the, their revenue model here. Look at this. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I wonder why. No wonder why Amazon wants into yeah, this business. 2014, folks, it was 137, no, 137 billion. 2018, 207 billion. Oh, just amazing, right? It is. Look at that jump alone from 2014 to 15. Pretty remarkable. Yeah. 137 to 180. Maybe they bought somebody in the process there or something yeah. too. Now watch the the. Look at their earnings too. Just amazing. I mean, it's powerhouse uh, numbers on the earnings front. This, well, this, on the this, yeah, it's always third-party payments, right? Sure. Um, you know, you're billing hospitals that are billing patients that are billing the insurance yeah, companies. Exactly. Sure. Now, check this out. We happen to know someone that's in this business, in the second part of this business, Randy, okay? And the way this business works in the medical supply, uh, and this is where Amazon could be so good at this, it's amazing. So the, the medical, not, I'm not talking about the pharmaceuticals here, but the medical surgical supplies, folks? Surgical supplies, yes. What happens is this, is that every surgical supply, when a hospital orders it, has a date on it. Sure. Okay? A, a, you know, and what, expiration date. Expiration. What happens with all of these hospitals, that's how we happen to know someone that's in the secondary part of this that does really well. And what happens is he buys them off all the hospitals because all the hospitals always waste them because they, you know, they put it in the hospital, it's expiring, it's going to expire in another, you know, 60 days. He takes it and tries to push it to someone else. Either if it's in the United States, it can be before the expiration date. If it's overseas, it doesn't matter. If overseas, they sell them overseas all day long. But I can see two different ways that Amazon could do this. It's a logistical company, right? Sure, definitely. You yeah. own the hospital, I'm coming to you. I'm saying, guess what? I'm going to save you that kind of money now. Right. I'm, I'm going to do the logistics. You don't have to put them all in storage because I can have them it, delivered exactly. within two hours it, whenever you need anything. Oh, my God. Could right. you imagine? No, sure. That's intense. Yeah. That's, that brings it a whole nother space. Right. You know? Definitely. On demand. On demand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, that is monster money. Yeah. When you wow. look at, you know, the, the amount of supplies that they need to have on hand versus just having, you know, right. immediate needs, you know. Less cash spent on all that. It's, it's everyone's at the cash flow. Totally. Cash flow. Let's go to uh, Duncan Steve. Duncan Steve, what's happening? Hey, Tom and Tommy, how are you? Good morning, good, Steve. Man. How you doing, man? Good, good. Hey, you did hear that uh, test marketing drop, dropping donuts from the name, right? No. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In California, they're doing it. You know the theme, uh, uh, America runs on Duncan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, they, they're getting rid of the no donuts part of the name. Again, they're just testing it now, but they didn't test it. It's interesting, you know, this, it is. As in, uh, they should go to you first. <laughs> and they're also, I saw, they're, they're doing away with the styrofoam cups by something like 2020. Um, 2020, yeah. They're going to yeah, be in if, some if stores. The, uh, if you get the extra large cup, don't squeeze it. It's literally, it'll break. And they can pop in half just the styrofoam. I mean, you should. Sure, the styrofoam's on for really bad for the environment. It never degrades, yeah. and, and you know, you, people love their Dunkin' cups. But in reality, it's, bad, it's, bad, it's, bad, it's, it's something it's like a billion cups, or you know, that they push out when you look at you know, and and a lot of stores already have done pushed to the cardboard. Um, right. You know, people love that morning feel for the coffee, whatever it is. So it's interesting where it is. It's, you know, but I, as far as how the environment goes, when, styrofoam's when, one of the worst for it. So no, no when I was in Boston, you know. Even when I was a lot younger, when I was a skate guy and all that, Duncan's would I'd always have it. I always got the small one because it's always the paper cup. I okay. love that. You paper. just like you see, you like the paper. Some I, people like I, the feel of the styrofoam. I, I, I do. Though. I you, like you the like paper. whatever you become. Yeah. You know, you know, people have their their right. set set routines. Their set <laughs> coffee in the morning. That is a routine. Oh, it's of all a big routines. one. It's um, an addiction. So it was interesting when I yeah, heard they, it. Yeah, uh, I, I know uh, people in the den, and I think Basil was into um, 
CBI, which is Chicago Bridge and Iron or something, uh, but this uh, CX is CMAX, as you know. Yeah. Uh, they're both infrastructure, I believe. And uh, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm looking at CX right here. Do you, can you tell me what you think about it? It's like it's low again. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So. This is CMEX, folks. This is the largest cement company in the world, okay? It happens to, you know, bottom line, uh, is that, uh, out of, it's out of Mexico, but 40,000 employees. Um, we have a monster one right in St. Pete. You probably have one in, in Tampa also. Okay. And every cement truck that you see <laughs> building around where we live in Pinellas County, Hillsborough County in Florida okay. um, is CMEX, okay? Oh. Um, now, remember, Carlos called us about this because this is what, what, what happens with this. Let me just look at this first. The billions are unbelievable that they make, but their debt structure evidently is insane, too. Let me just see. Okay, well, yeah, look two, at these numbers. $271 billion. And uh, Business Wire, they, they posted the highest net income in a decade, but they posted a surprise fourth quarter net loss. Yeah, look at this, man. That, that's one of the, Yeah, so that's a... Steve's talking about right there is the oh. fourth, fourth quarter loss, even though they're pulling in 780 a share yeah. for 2017. Now, right. you know, we have their 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 2018 projections, Steve, look pretty rosy as in $13 for the year, and it goes $3 for Q1, 8 9 and $6 for Q2, 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. So big numbers, but yeah, so look at So their revenue of $270 billion for 2018. But then, yeah, go go back to just whatever what their market cap is, because for a company pulling in 270 billion dollars, um, it's 10 only billion. 10 billion is the market cap, right? Which is some pretty remarkable, right, Steve? I right. mean, you have a company pulling in yeah. that type of revenue; it's only worth 10 billion. You're pulling in 270 billion, and you have earnings to boot. Um, there's there's something on that balance sheet that makes that company not worth. Right. I mean, 10 billion dollars. A lot of companies. In the world to have 10 billion dollars if that was a company if you could ever just yeah. immediately start getting 270 billion dollars in cash flow so but, it, it comes with more than that it does yeah i would look at it like around five bucks where i'm going to uh, well yeah, actually i was wondering if it's going to go to that like 550 the next jump down there back yeah that's where i'm looking man uh, well here one second right there oh i got you right there i see it yeah yeah that could that's where it had some strength what is that that oh, was that, that was july, july. 15, yeah, yeah. And the only okay, thing I'd great. say on the fundamental part, you know, you hear, see the infrastructure, you hear the trillions of dollars, you know, all that was out there and what the president put out was about $200 billion in federal oh, yeah. funding. So what's going to happen is this sure. is going to be privatized and people aren't going to like having to pay to use roads. And that's what, do you want to be riding around yeah. your state and have to pay, you know, every no. single time using your roads? So there's going to be a battle here. That's all, Steve. To, and and CMEX may yeah. not just get that pop on that infrastructure, which is, you, you see, they're the down. Path. Cooking, brother. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. Have a great one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 122. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics, including gold, silver, platinum, 
copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, down 68. You get the NASDAQ uh, flat. S&Ps are uh, down six. Let's go over to uh, the uh, GDX and see uh, we got any uh, thing happening with these uh, gold equities. So GDX yesterday came off the lows. Um, you know, had some decent volume. Uh, it's trying to, you know, get into higher price. You yeah. know, we held the uh, December. No, it's said. Yeah, it's December. 12th, okay, yeah, yeah, we held we held the December thirteenth. Yeah, yeah uh, swing swing level. You know, we actually broke it, rejected it. <coughs> Excuse me. Got higher at the close, uh, and what that was also doing was going into the December twenty sixteen uh, level, and it did have lighter volume. Close call, but it had, so the, the range is still there. You know, in the top of this range, and the GDX is twenty five seventy one. Isn't it wild how long that's been there, though? It is, yeah. yeah. Quite a little range, right? 21 to 25. Yeah. Nowhere else. No. Yeah. You know, big, big, big number. Uh, it looks like uh, we're going to catch a bid here. Uh, we just got, uh, let's see, we're at 13.29. Let's see if we got any volume behind that move. So you got 144,000 contracts. That's not bad for 10.30 in the morning. And looks like we got another. That's good. We got we got we got another little jolt there. Yeah, not bad. So, Heading towards the higher trading range. Where yep. were we at? About thirteen thirty-three. I think was that high. Where were we? Yeah, thirteen thirty-three fifty at about yeah. five thirty this morning. So that's game now. Oh, definitely. That's, that's game. Um, and you know, it's not a lot, but the bottom line is it's it's better than we, we've got. That's that's what it comes down to. Sure. Um, over to the uh, dollar. Dollar still having. It actually the the dollar today can really break, I mean, dramatically lower, because what we've just done is that we've just broke this little consolidation that we're in. You know, now it, now it didn't, you know, you can see it, it broke it with good volume, 795 contracts. You know, hasn't done much since then, though. And yeah. most of the time, if you break these little ranges, you know, I'm really looking for follow through, like, right away. You sure. know what I mean? It's like 40 minutes, but guess what? Uh, in a day like today, um, that that can break, particularly because let's go over to the yen because that correlation is going to be inside the yen. You're still at 109, down 109. You're at 107.57. Yeah, and that that right there. See, that's broken too, but you know it's it's. It doesn't. It doesn't look like it wants to go any lower. I mean, it, all night long it's been going down since yeah. the markets had opened. Yeah. 
probably going to need a rest. Needs a nap. Okay. <laughs> so no time for rest is for the weary. We'll be Seriously, right. man. We need some juice in this metals right. contract right now. And, you know, uh, when you do come over to our website at TFNN, it's open house, folks. Uh, open house at TFNN inside the uh, Tiger's Den, our trading room. Come on over. 30 days free. Tell your friends. Get them all over here. We're going to have a big Tiger and Tigress party. That's right. Um, a lot of great trading ideas in there um, each and every day. Yeah. So the open house runs this month. So you have a couple weeks, but I encourage people to get in there. We already have a bunch of good new Tigers signed up in the room. Everyone in there chatting. You get to kind of chat with the hosts if you're in there. We can see the den. We got it up, of course. Everybody, you know, Basil, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Andy Heck, they got the den up there. That's how they're posting their charts for the programs. So they're always in there chatting, and uh, we encourage people to check it out there's always good action in there from about seven eight in the morning until whether it's like five six seven o'clock at night right. there's people in there at all times but that's when you get a, a good discussion going on around the market hours especially in the u.s yeah. let alone when you get some real crazy market that's action. right <laughs> For sure. lots of sets of eyes folks that's and that's right. what's really cool i mean you know the most sets of eyes that you have on the market bottom line is that you yeah. higher in probability yeah can be that you can get some good ideas. Yeah, you get all, you, know? you get differing views, right? You get right. whatever people are looking at, different price levels, and then, you know, you get to be the judge of what matters and what doesn't. Exactly, go. exactly. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI. Actually, you know, I want to look at, hold on, I want to, uh, the, the weed stocks, folks, the marijuana stocks, they're getting close to where I think they're going to be a buy here. So, Canopy, well, we're 26. I I'm, might take us 21.72. Okay. So you know this this took off six months ago at nine dollars, runs to 44. It still has a high volume swing low at 20.85. I think that's that's the number. And what's interesting? So now we're where it's February 13th. It right? is. March, April, May, June, July. Five months. So what what? Till the, Till it's totally legal and in Canada. And Canada. Canada. Okay. Yeah, and this is—I mean, this is a big Canadian company. I mean, okay. that's that's the bottom line. Um, Canopy Growth Acquired Assets for Canadian 5.5 million. Oh, let's see what they're, what are they buying now. They're, but these these guys are trying to buy everyone up. Sure. Um, before this thing goes, that's what that's yeah, what it seems. Yeah, five million dollars like. for a company like that—that's not enough, right? Exactly. Yeah, because Especially if you put it, some debt into it, you're really only spending right a million bucks. Who knows? Yeah. Right. Because look at their, their revenue model. You can see... We're into 2018. I mean, they're going to pull in $84 million, right? Right, yeah. right. And, you know, if all goes well, this is where the expansion comes from, $84 million to $323 million next year. Yeah. And what's pretty interesting, just uh, it's a good disclaimer, if all goes well, because yeah. a lot of that is coming from the Q3 and Q4. It right? is. So that's looking out over 18 months. Right. A lot's going to happen in the cannabis industry in the next oh, 18 months. You is. know, in terms of that's, that's quite a volatile projection, and, and I'm guessing that that is a rosy picture. But like we've seen, if, if it does go well, that that they could beat that. Oh, you know, yeah. Who knows? No, it's definitely but, a rosy picture. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, you know, we can put out pro forma expectations, and I think in their industry they're going to get a lot of latitude to make you know any other company that would say ah we're going to pull in 39 million in 2017 and we're going to pull in 323 million in 2019 and somebody would say well explain why and all they have to say is pot's going to be legal so well, just, you know they go no, no, deeper, for sure. but what, that allows what, them to fundamentally what i like about this company is this so what happens folks on some of these marijuana companies what they've been what they've done is this is that they've they've done business outside the United States, but some of them have done business inside the United States. And that's, yes. a, that's a big risk yes. for a public company. Definitely. This company will not. This sure. company will not do any business. With, and that's, I think that's, if you're going to get in it, that's a yeah. decent deal. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. You know, so they're only in jurisdictions where it is absolutely legal, uh, which, yeah. you know, is going to make a difference down the line. I mean, you know, some companies will get away with it and, you know, that's cool. But risk reward, you know, I like the idea that that's, you know, and, oh, yeah. it, and it's no, not sure. that they, they they all took a hit when the sessions come out and said that, you know, bottom line is that, uh, you know, the feds could still go after them, you know, but regardless of what uh, your state thought. But um, Yeah, he put it back on a priority, and that right. was somewhere around this yes, day right yeah, here, right. and then it spiked down, and then this is where you saw we, the stock, say we shouldn't be too affected because we're actually not planning to be in the U.S., Right. That's where you got and the pop right back, it, it and was. then it's kind of trailed off since right. then. Yeah. Right. So, we'll... Yeah. 
We'll see for sure. It'd be interesting to see if they, uh, again, that's what they say, right? But where do they come up with that 400 million? Uh, maybe that's part of what they're saying in 2019. I don't know. You know what I mean? I, no, they're I, saying that, but. You know what? I gotta get I gotta get the CEO on an ask yeah. because that's because it, are they is that just Canada or is that the the banking that on the US it will lighten up. We'll see. Right. right. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. It's growling and prowling and making its way into the green, folks. We get the the, the Nasdaq right now up seven. Uh S and P's are down four. Dow's down forty five. We'll come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timer's Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18th, 2018 placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to uh, Bill in Springfield, uh, Missouri. Hey, Bill, what's going on? Bill, you there? Oh, I guess not. Um, Put up there is Weed, W-E-E-D. I have an account with TD Ameritrade, and I cannot pull it up. I have an account with Scott Trade, cannot pull it up. That's because it's a Canadian stock. So. I understand. So how do we trade it? Well, I guess I... Uh, your best bet would just maybe to give your broker a call, Bill, if you want, because... I believe if... Yeah, I believe if you turn around and put, put in Canopy Growth, it may come up. That's the name of the... That's the official name of the company versus the 
symbol, but you may not have you may may not be able to trade it because I know when what does happen is that uh, that's interesting. I just put weed in. Uh, yeah, it's still coming up as a this Canadian is company. Versus, yeah. Right, right. So the name of the company, Bill, is C Canopy Growth. Put that in and see if it does come up. C A N A P Y. Yes. Yeah, yes, sir. C A N O P Y. C A N O P Y Growth. Canopy Growth. And you can always just give them a call, Bill. That would be my suggestion because the brokerages are going to be differ, and um, right. So, and I'm sure they can well, help you out for access to the Canadian markets for public stocks up there. I see. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks, okay. Bill. Thank you. And that's something that I will find out too after we get off the air too. Yeah. Uh, look at that market. Hold it's a market. We got 30 seconds left. Maybe we'll be 30, 30 seconds to come into the green. There we go. Stay right there, folks. We got the swim lessons coming up next. Then we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. And uh, uh, Andy Heck. That's right. Have a great one, Phil. Thanks, man. You too. Stay right there, folks. Swim lessons coming up next. Dow right now down 40. Nasdaq up 10. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.